Thank God. Thank God for this choir. Put your, put your hands together. Thank God for this choir. That was beautiful. 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 I thank God so much for what he has done for new life and what he is doing uh, for new life and what he will do for us. Our future is so bright. Somebody wrote a song about it and said that the future is so bright that we got to wear shades. And so I would encourage you that uh, whatever kind of shade you need, if it's uh, just a regular $5 shade or if you need some, uh, if you like Mr. Dewan and you need some products, then go get you some. You don't have the money to afford the product, change the V to a D and get you some of the shades because our future is bright. And I know that you want to be a part of that. Let us pray. And we will get to the word of God today. God, we thank you so much for this preaching moment. God, we thank you for this sacred hour that we have come to now. God, I stand before your people, not on my own accord, but God, I stand because you said to stand. So we pray now, God, that your word would reach out and that your word would touch and that your word would save, your word would sanctify them. Today, God, somebody stands in need of a healing. Send your healing word, God. Somebody stands in need of deliverance. God, send your delivering word. God, somebody stands in need of a financial blessing. Send that word out today, God, just as you can do. God, I know what you have told me to do. I have done that. I have studied and prayed and prayed and studied. And God, now I stand here before your people. Decrease me, God. And you increase. Sit me down, God. And you stand up. Speak to us now. God, right where we stand. You know what we stand in need of. God, help us to leave this place better than we showed up. God, we need a word from you. God, we're hungry. God, we're thirsty for your word. Speak to us today. God, we know that your word has saved millions. So we declare now, God, that it's that same word that we speak today. God, I pray now that you would anoint your word, that you would anoint this, your vessel, and have your way in this place. God, I pray that you would minimize the distractions. God, if you be so kind, remove those things that would so easily be set up from your word this morning, God, and have your way and speak like only you can. God, speak your word so clearly that we can leave this place better than we showed up. God, speak your word so clearly that on Monday morning we'll be better believers than we were on this Sunday morning. God, we thank you now for what you've done, for what you will do, God, and we thank you for what you will do in advance. God, we, we thank you that so much in our lives is already done. Thank you now, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hold your Bibles up all over the section that you repeat after me. I am. I am. Because it says I am. Because it says I, I am. can. I can. Because it says I can. Because it says I will. I will. Because it says I will. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. That I have. That I have. New life. New life. Let's go to work. Say this to somebody sitting next to you. Smile at them real big. I know you got your pearly whites on you. Y'all ain't even got it out yet, y'all already. Yeah, smile at them real big and then say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I got this. I got this. Now say it to yourself, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I got this. I got this. So not on my own, but in the name of Jesus, I got this. In the name of Jesus, I, you ought to felt that already. In the name of Jesus, I can get through this. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to be better than I was in 2016. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my finances are going to be better in 2017. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all of my children will be blessed in 2017. In, in the name of Jesus, I declare that everything... It's going to be all right. Yeah, not, not on my own, but in the name of Jesus, I got this. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Things have just got to get better. I, I, my God, my God, today. I, good God, my God. We're we going to get, ooh, good God. I felt that in my school. We're going to get through this, I promise you. But in the name of Jesus, somebody else other than me needs to know that in 2017, in, in the name of Jesus, I declare that things will get better. In the name of Jesus, I declare that everything is going to be all right. In the name of Jesus, in 2017, the job is already mine. In the name of Jesus, 
Bibles in 2017, I'm moving out of the apartment and into the house. In the name of Jesus, I can't do it on my own, but in the name of Jesus, everything is got to fall into place. My God today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. What about me? 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 In this season of giving, uh, as, as this world uh, denotes, uh, it, uh, we often uh, want the perfect gift, especially this time of year. We want the perfect gift and the perfect meal, and we want the right phone call from the right perfect person. And we want, uh, if you like me, you want the perfect pie. You you want, the, if you're real selfish, you want the right pot of greens. But sometimes. Uh, you have to, anybody other than me, then sometimes you got to buy your own gift. Right? If you want the best gift other than Jesus to be under the tree, sometimes you got to buy your own gift. And as much as you tell them, you've been saying all year long, you've been dropping hints, they ain't got it. You, you straight out told them what you wanted, and every year they get it wrong, or you get some practical gift like, like an ironing board or a, 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 a snow shovel or something. You sometimes if you want the perfect gift, you got to go out and get it. Just and here, 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 here is your pastor encouraging you. When you go get it, wrap it, put it under the tree. Is that right? And when you get up on, on Christmas morning, act like you ain't even seen it. Ooh, what is that? Unwrap it like you ain't never seen it before. And then you can be sure that you got what you signed up for. I, um, I, I know that, that, that there's so much uh, that, that we want. It, it's nice to have somebody to do it for you, but but sometimes you got to be content with with I will just do it myself. Uh, so if you're one of those people saying, "Well, well what about me, Lord? Uh, the Lord has a word for you today. What 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 what, what about me?" Or maybe uh, you're one of those people that discount yourself and you wait for others to say that you're okay, or you you wait for somebody else to to come along and encourage you. Uh, but I came to tell you there's a word from the Lord today that says sometimes you've got to uh, 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 y'all read the same Bible uh, uh, it's in the word of God today I'm going to show you so so say it like this uh, in the name of Jesus I got this, I got this. Uh, people try to bring you down they, and, and, and you got to tell them in their face just, just wake up uh, Monday morning whoever, whoever it is next to you I didn't even ask who it is but whoever it is uh, next to you on Monday morning just wake up and say in the name of Jesus Jesus, I got this. First Thessalonians 5, 11 through 15, we read uh, in your hearing. And, and, and I just want to, uh, you know how your pastor is. I don't like to leave anybody behind. And, and some of you may or may not remember uh, the year 1973. Anybody remember that year? Don't say it out loud. But how old were you in 1973? Some of y'all wouldn't even have thought. Yeah, you, okay, got you, got you. Well, that's all right. I'm going to back up and get you too. I don't want to leave you behind. But for those of you that were around in 1973, there, there was a young brother by the name of uh, Stevie Wonder. Y'all remember Stevie Wonder? Okay. So Stevie Wonder released a song entitled Higher Ground. Okay, y'all felt that. Y'all remember the song, Higher Ground. If, if you're too young, YouTube it on your way home from church. I don't mind that you listen to some secular music. Uh, listen to it on your way home. It'll bless you. Uh, but Higher Ground, uh, uh, Stevie Wonder encouraging people uh, to keep doing what they were doing. It was, uh, now, now I, I don't want to simplify what, what Mr. Wonder put on paper. It's more complex than, than I have time to get into this morning. But, but basically, he was communicating uh, uh, that we ought to encourage one another. So Stevie Wonder said in the song, uh, y'all know some of the lyrics, y'all can hum it along. Uh, 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 people keep on learning. Y'all yeah, remember that. He said, soldiers keep on war and world keep on turning because it won't be too long. Okay, y'all y'all gonna miss the song. Y'all y'all didn't go out that night. Uh, and then, then he said, teachers keep on teaching. Preachers keep on preaching. World keep on turning because it won't be too long till I reach my highest ground. Uh, but but I, I know that that I, I know the congregation well enough to know that everybody's not gonna admit to the to the Stevie Wonder, even though you might have heard it on YouTube. So so let me back up and get some of y'all real saved uh, and sanctified. <laughs> Uh, super saved saint. There's some super saved saints that we go to church with. Uh, so let me help you out. In 2002, uh, Bishop Hezekiah Walker, y'all know him? Yeah, see, that's for the saved folks. All right, all right. Y'all don't want to get with Stevie Wonder. Hezekiah Walker released a song entitled, I Need You to Survive, in which he declared, I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. 
We're all a part of God's body. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me, and I need you to survive. And then he went a little bit further and said, I won't harm you with words from my mouth. Uh, I need you to survive. So Bishop Walker was, again, encouraging us to uh, uplift one another, to pray for one another, and to lift each other up, just as uh, 1 Thessalonians is telling us today. This anthem, uh, heard all over the world and, and sang all over the world, I believe, uh, was a good one. And, and we should and we must encourage uh, each other. We have to speak life. To each other, and, and speaking life uh, don't 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 get too deep or too prophetic on me. Uh, speaking life simply means that that I'm not going to talk about you. I'm not going to gossip about you behind your back. But but I have some good words. I want to encourage you to do better. I want to encourage you in the Lord. So I, so we ought to speak life to each other and 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 not gossip about people. I won't say evil things about you. I won't harm you with nasty words from my mouth. But I will. Speak life over you. You, I want you to be encouraged. I, whenever possible, I, I want to uh, give you some encouraging words. Well, in this chapter, we are instructed by the writer to encourage each other. Uh, we are admonished to encourage those. Uh, you heard Sister Dewan uh, uh, use the word admonished to encourage those uh, we know, those we don't know, those around us, and certainly those family members. Paul starts out by, by telling us, uh, I really should not... Uh, be telling you this. Uh, he says, I shouldn't be writing this to you uh, because you already know. I, I shouldn't have to tell you uh, any of this. I shouldn't have to tell you to encourage your brother and your sister because you 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 already know. This is what Paul is saying to us and, and some of us will get this uh, quicker than others, but, but I shouldn't have to tell you this because you've lived a few days already. So, so, so you've lived long enough that you've been around long enough that, that you've seen things change and, and you've seen things get really bad and you've seen things uh, go haywire. At the same time, uh, you've seen things turn around in your favor. Uh, you've seen things get better. And, and Paul says, so uh, why are you looking like things are bleak? And, and, and you've actually seen things. Uh, turn around. You, you, you've seen God work things out for you. So Paul says uh, you ought to be able to encourage your brother or your sister because you've been around long enough to see that, that on Monday all hell is broken loose in your life. But on Tuesday God is able to set things in order. So if you've been around a minute or two, he said you ought to already be able to encourage your brothers and your sisters. Uh, Paul says you, you've seen things uh, be good today and be bad tomorrow. I don't know about you, but I've moved from that. Sometimes things are good today and bad today. It, it, sometimes it doesn't take uh, tomorrow to come before things can, can go south. Uh, Paul says, you have seen things be peaceful and secure. And, and then all of a sudden, all hell break loose, Paul says. Uh, but in the next few moments, Paul says, the reason you have been allowed to see things uh, the way you've seen them is so that uh, when, when, when the Lord does show up, you ought not be surprised. Uh, he says you ought not be surprised when the day of the Lord comes uh, like a thief in the night. You, you ought to be ready. You ought to guard yourself. You ought to, uh, somebody said it like this, we ought to stay woke. Well. Uh -huh. And then somebody else said if you stay ready, you won't have to. Uh -huh. So y'all already know. Uh, uh, then he says, so since you know all of this and, and you've been told about it and you've witnessed it and, and, and you're supposed to encourage one another and build each other up, you already know that. Uh, so, so, so there is there is a need. There is a need. There is a need. There is a need to, to build each other up because the Bible says, if, 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 here's the blessing, if I build you up, if I comfort you, uh -huh. Some of y'all already see this. It, 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 that, is, that, that is a way for me to find comfort for myself. Uh, watch this. When I pray for you, when I seek the face of God on your behalf, uh, when I ask God to supply all of your needs, when, when I ask God to deal with you and to deliver you, when I ask God to help you, and when I ask God to do all of that, he will do it. But at the same time, that same God is able to bless me because I made uh, his business my business, and so he will make my business his business. When I'm looking out for my brother, looking out for my sister, God has a way of meeting me at the point of my needs. If you don't believe it's true, I dare you to take yourself out of the equation and just spend all week long praying for somebody else and watch God 
bless your life. He will meet you. He will meet me. He will meet us at the point of my need. Uh, I'm not encouraging you uh, uh, with, with my own words, uh, Paul says. I'm not encouraging you with, with my own creativity. Uh, uh, but I am encouraging you with the word of God. Watch this. It is those words that will heal. It is the word of God that will sanctify. It's those same words that will touch. Same words from the word of God that will save. It's the same words from the word of God that will bring your children back home. It's the same word from the word of God that will save relationships. That same word will heal families. It's that same word of God that will save souls, that will make a difference, that will touch lives, that will make everything all right. All right, all right. Watch this. When Job was being afflicted, he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Yeah. See, Job said uh, and had enough uh, uh, made up in his mind that I might be going through. Somebody else is going through. I might be going through. I might be suffering, but with the Lord on my side, I can make it. Job said, it might be tough right now, but, but I read in the word of God somewhere that if I trust in the Lord, he will direct my path. Job said, you ought to encourage yourself in the word of God. Proverbs 3 and 6 says it like this, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. So regardless of what's going on, if, if you acknowledge the Lord, uh, he will make everything all right. So we have these words to encourage, to encourage, to encourage one another. The Lord says uh, this in Jeremiah, my favorite verse, uh, 29 and 11. I know the plans that I have for you and they are good plans. Plans to bless you and not to curse you. Psalms 34 says, all taste and see that the Lord is good. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle, not like Patty Bell, but like a real eagle. Uh, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. These are encouraging words for our brothers and our sisters. Romans 8.28 uh, Sister Sadie says and we know that all things work together for the good of them who love God and are called according to his purpose. Encouraging Encouraging words, and, and and I'm all for encouraging my brothers and my sisters. And when you see me in need, I promise you that your pastor just needs an encouraging word. When you see me destitute or in a destitute place, please encourage me, pray for me, speak over my life. Thank you. All right. All right, all right. Every now and then, that somebody shows up to pray for you. I don't know about you, but but I'm only here because of the prayers of Mama them and and Grandma them right, and Grandpa right. them. Somebody other than me. I, I don't know about you, but every now and then I find myself in a place where I can't pray for myself. There, there's so much hell going on in my life. There's so much turmoil in my life that I can't seem to see my way out. And, and every now and then, you just need anybody other than me. You just need somebody to speak a word. You need somebody to go to God on your behalf. You, you need somebody to help you out. So you ought to say, thank you, Jesus, that somebody prayed for me. Somebody had me on their mind. Encouraging our brothers and, and our sisters is crucial. And we're commanded to look out for our brothers and our sisters. We're encouraged. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron. So, so we ought to get together and encourage each other every now and then. But now, watch this. Uh, when you are in a precarious position or trying to decide your next move, sometimes you may have to walk alone. Sometimes you got to let some people go. Sometimes you can't take everybody where God is taking you. Some of y'all already saw that. Uh, uh, so sometimes you are going to be by yourself. Sometimes you may not be able to find a friend. I don't mean to depress you today. I promise you it's a good word. Uh, uh, you may not be able to call mama and them, but, but, uh, uh, but, but look, but before you come to help me, before you come to speak life over me, before you come to tell me, be sure that you hid the word in your heart. Uh, believe it or not, I think some of the best, most valuable, the bestest information that we've got
gotten as Christians. Anybody ever been on an airplane before? Any, no, just me, a few of y'all. Okay, all right. Some of y'all been on an airplane before. So I believe, I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but, but some of the best advice that, that we've ever gotten as Christians, uh, uh, we got from the FAA. All right, all right, all right. Amen. I know. I know you didn't see it coming, but I got you. I promise you. We're going to dance a little bit and we're going home. If it wasn't for Jesus, I believe that the FAA could save some folk. But since Jesus already did that, we're we, we going we to stay with him. But if it was not for Jesus, I believe that the FAA might have come along and saved somebody. Well, Pastor, why, why do you say, surely you didn't get us out of this snow and bring us out on Sunday morning to preach now about the FAA? Yes, I did. <laughs> The FAA will save your life. Watch this. Uh, if you follow the instructions, y'all y'all didn't know that y'all minister of music used to be a flight attendant, right? So he gonna know this by heart. Y'all y'all didn't know that, right? Uh, so some of the instructions they give you uh, can, can save your life. Look, the flight attendant says it like this. Now if you know it, you can repeat after me. In case of loss in cabin pressure, a yellow oxygen mask will deploy from the ceiling compartment located above you. Y'all y'all heard that before, right? Uh, uh, so please make sure to secure your what, what are you supposed to do first? <laughs> secure your own mask. Yeah, yeah, how about that? Before uh -huh, y'all got it, before you assist in somebody else. Uh, before you attempt to help anybody else, uh, you gotta put your own mask on. You got to make sure that you are breathing all right. See the FAA has already blessed y'all in church on Sunday morning, y'all didn't know. But let me help us. Uh, in 1 Samuel, the Bible says that David and the people lifted up their voices and they wept so. The Bible says that they cried so much that they had no more tears left. And that blessed me uh, when I saw, we're going to come back to the FAA in a minute. Anybody other than me that you've ever cried yourself to sleep at night? Anybody other than me that you've ever cried and cried and cried? And then you're still crying, but you don't have no more tears left. You're all out of tears. Uh, First Samuel here says that, that they stopped crying because they were all out of tears. Uh, anybody ever had a moment like that where life gets you down, people beat you down, and you have cried your last tear. You declare, I am not crying over this anymore. But but you just can't find it in, in yourself to cry anymore. Uh, the Bible says that we are troubled on every side, uh, yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but we are not destroyed. Thank you for looking out for me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for encouraging me. But the Bible says that sometimes I might have to walk alone. And in 1 Samuel, David said that his two wives were taken captive, and David was in great distress. David was discouraged because there was talk about stoning David to death. But the Bible says in the midst of all of that, that David said there will come a time, baby girl, where you're going to have to encourage yourself. I know it's all about encouraging your brothers and your sisters, but every now and then, you're going to have to pat your own self on the back. Every now and then, you're going to have to take your own self to dinner. Every now and then, you're going to have to go to Red Lobster and ask for a table for once. If you don't want nobody to know you there, ask for two glasses of water. So you don't want nobody to know you by yourself. But every now and then, you've got to encourage uh, yourself. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me help us. Let me, let me help us, and then we're gonna be done. Everybody, uh, I know, I know you you find this hard to believe, but everybody is not gonna encourage you. Uh, you won't always find somebody to give you an encouraging word. You you won't always find people talking favorably about you. You won't always uh, find people lifting you up or calling you or or seeking God on your behalf. But one thing you can't count on, and that is learn how to encourage. Yourself. Well, Pastor, how 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 do we do that? How 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 do I encourage myself? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. And, I, and I'll be done. Uh, um, 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 for, for for some of them, uh, Brother Scott, you gonna give them give them some dance music uh, here in a second. And and, and not for me because I, I don't I don't I don't dance like that. Y'all y'all know I. I, I <laughs> Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. How do we do that? Well, let me help you out. Philippians says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's how you encourage yourself. Re repeat after me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Think about something that you've been trying to do. Say it, say it, say it to yourself. You got to say it until you believe it. Through Christ. Come on now. 
say it until you believe it. Through Christ, who strengthens me, I can do all things. Encourage yourself. Say it again. I can do all things. I'm going to say it again until you encourage yourself. Say it again. I can do all things. You got to say it until you believe it. I, I can do all things. All right, that might not have got you, so let me go down your alley. Psalms 27 says, One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You ought to encourage yourself. Say it now. The one thing that I desire of the Lord, and that will I seek after. Well, that might not have blessed you, so let's skip over to Revelation 21 that says, God shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. And, and this, this ought to be real encouraging to you. Uh, he says, there will be no more death. Uh, there will be no more mourning. There will be no more crying. There will be no more pain because the former things are passed away. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Well, that might not have blessed you. Let me get you another one. Psalm 27 says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, when everybody is coming against me, when everybody is talking about me, when everybody is gossiping about me, you ought to get somewhere by yourself and encourage yourself in the Lord. Well, that might not have got you, so, so, so let's, let's try this. Uh, this is how you encourage yourself. Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not walk. That's how you encourage yourself. Well, well, that 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 didn't, that didn't get some of y'all. So let's go here. Isaiah forty-one. Uh, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. This is how, saints, you encourage yourself. God is my refuge and my strength, a present, ever present help in the time of trouble. That's how you encourage yourself. Uh, you ought to say to yourself right now, it won't be like this. Always. Say it again. It won't always be like this. Think about that terrible thing that's in your life right now. Yeah, just look up to heaven and say, thank you, God, that it won't always be like this. Yeah, things are going to get better in 2017. It won't always uh, be like this. Some of us can't even look that far. You, you need things to get better in 2016. How about that? So just say, it won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. Sooner or later, it will turn in my favor. Uh, you ought to be able to encourage yourself. Well, well that might not have got you, so, so let me help you. The Bible says to cast all of your cares on him because he cares for you. Stop worrying about stuff and give it to Jesus. Stop worrying about people and give them to Jesus. Stop worrying about your health and give it to Jesus. Stop worrying about your friend and give it to Jesus. Stop worrying about your finances and give it to Jesus. Stop worrying about your poor cases and give it to Jesus. Sooner or later, it's going to turn around in my favor. That's how we encourage ourselves. He will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. That's how you encourage yourself. Thank you, Lord. Things could always be worse. That's how you encourage yourself. Come on, you can do this with me. Uh, let's lift up your right hand and just put it behind you like this. Yeah, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Because you're going to go all week long. Ain't nobody going to tell you you did a good job. Ain't, ain't nobody going to tell you that you were a good mom. Ain't, ain't nobody going to tell you that you were a good daddy. Go ahead and pat your old self on the back. Don't, don't wait for somebody else. Go ahead. Now get your other hand. Because you've been double good. Get your other hand. And pat your yeah, yeah, you've been good. God has been good to you. And you want to somebody know somebody else to tell you how good you are. The Bible says that in him you were created. You were created like him. You were created in the image of God. Uh, how I look. I know you really want to 
or somebody a little more curvaceous, but thanks be to God that I was created in the image of God. That would be more. I can have my own self on the back. Uh, so, so we ought to look in the mirror and say, thanks be to God that things could always uh, be worse. But watch this. Uh, I, I'm a work in progress. Thank you, God, for still working on me. That's how we encourage ourselves. Isaiah said it this way. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Call upon him while he is near. That's how we encourage ourselves. Now, if that didn't get you, I got one more, and then we're going to be done. Now unto him, who is able to do exceedingly, uh -huh, and abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that works in him. Watch this. To him be glory. In the church, by Jesus Christ, to every generation, sometimes you will have to encourage your own self. So, 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 so look at the person next to you. Don't, don't be mean. Don't, don't, don't be mean. Look at him with a smile on your face and say, I, I know you don't think that I'm all that. Yeah, yeah, tell him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him out loud. I know you don't think I'm all that. But I came today. Tell him. Tell him. But I came today to encourage myself. Y'all believe me, watch this. Turn around so they can see you pat yourself on the back. Watch this, girl. You didn't think I could do it. You didn't think my arm was that long. But, but you know how to get to a point in your life where you learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. I just wanted to encourage you today. I know it's been a minute since we've been together. You're going to go all week long, and somebody ain't going to tell you just how good you are. Pastor just showed up today to tell you you good just like you is. Put your hair together. So, I just don't want you to change you. I don't want you to stop being who you are. You good, just like you are. Let, 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 let me help you like this. If it don't get no better than it is today, you already all right. Yes, yeah, you do it just like you are. Don't listen to the next.